Juliana Daniel here with Race Day Live. Well, you know, guys, we usually are focusing on those factory riders, but this week we're going to switch it up and we're going to give you some behind the scenes, a little knowledge about the privateer. So let's head on down to the pits and take a look at the privateer life. First up on our privateer list is Drake Sizemore. Drake, you were just telling me this is kind of a special season for you. Why? Uh, it's actually my first full season. I've done a few in the past, but this year I decided to just do the whole season. How do you get here? How do y'all come to the races? How do you, I know you said this is your first full season, but how do y'all pick and who comes with you? I see some people over here. Well, this one was kind of an interesting uh, trip up here. It was nine hours. Uh, we just got new, two new rear tires on the van and the front ones are bald. <laughs> so it kind of like goes all over the place. <laughs> we got pulled over on the way up here. No way, come on. Because we were swerving in the wind and we got motion sickness and he, uh, <laughs> Joey Crane over there, uh, he was in the bathroom for a good while. Oh no. <laughs> What's the craziest bet you've ever done for Supercross or had? Uh, a couple days ago, I shaved my head. <laughs> How much but did you get for that? 100 bucks, and I let the, the person who bet it was my friend uh, Cameron Weeks. Uh, the bet was 100 bucks, and he gets to shave my head himself. <laughs> so now I'm going around bald. <laughs> Carter Gordon here. Carter, where are you coming from this weekend? Uh, I'm originally from Mattoon, Illinois, but I trained down in Tallahassee, Florida at the Ricky Carmichael's facility. Oh, you have to deal with him every time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Ricky. Um, how is that training with the, training with the goat? Um, it's pretty good actually. He's taught me a lot since I've started Supercross. Yeah. Uh, my first round was at Atlanta, so since then I've gained a lot of experience and learned a lot. So, so your first round was Triple Crown, and yep. now you're coming back for Triple Crown. Yep. So how far did y'all travel to get here? Uh, eight hours, so but that's not bad. from Florida, oh, that's pretty sure it's like 22. Dang. So. Here with Brandon Share, Brandon. How long did it take y'all to get here? Because you come from Los Angeles, correct? Yeah, well luckily I've been traveling around with the circuit, so I've been able to fly here and there, but traveling, driving wise then now it's at least 30 hours. So it's a long, long haul to get back here. Anyone on your team had to make the drive? Like, obviously you guys have been traveling, but who's who's the special one that gets to make that drive? Um, honestly, <laughs> actually we I made it. Me and my fiance, we um Congratulations. We drove, thank you. So what are your goals for Minneapolis? Triple Crown. Triple Crown. Um, it'd be nice to get another main in. You know, it's been a uh, been a long season. I've been learning a lot as my rookie 450 season, but um, you know, just want to get some more gate time and and get in those mains where I feel like it belongs. So that'd be uh, ideal. Next up is the man with the golden locks, Logan Carno. Logan, what are your goals for here in Minneapolis? Um, I'm riding the 450 class this weekend on my 250 uh, just for fun. Um, but the goal is to put it in the main. I mean, I made one this year in the 250 class and it was super cool, really emotional. Um, but yeah, it'd be really cool. If I can get out to a good start, I don't see why I can't do it. All right, so y'all are on the road a lot. Yes. How many people travel in your crew with you? Uh, it's kind of different every weekend. Um, An this estimate. Is, yeah. Um, Five to 10, like how many people are in the car with y'all? Oh, two. So, so you don't have like a bus or anything that you are in No, together. I just have a van. Nice. Yeah, so I just any... traveling around with my, in, a, in, my, in a van, and uh, usually I have a mechanic with me, but not this race. But do y'all have any stories you can share? Moments that you regret or that you um, love? The road is a fun place. I love being on the road. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I've been doing it for the past three years, and I like being out west and uh, seeing like Utah and. Uh, Arizona, we stopped at Lake Havasu, that was cool. Yes! It's super cool, I mean, it's stuff you don't see when you fly. Exactly. Well, his mechanic over there seems to be taking a break. Colton, you're doing your own work! Colton Eck, everyone. Wh I mean, what what's going on? Uh, yeah, Morgan. You do it better? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Morgan is actually, uh, he's from here local in Minnesota, so he's helping me out for the weekend, but uh, yeah, you know, privateer life. We gotta work on our own bikes, you know, do whatever it takes to make it happen. What are your goals here this weekend in Minneapolis? Triple Crown. Yeah, Triple Crown. Uh, it's a tough format for us privateers. Um, you know, I gotta be top 22. Um, but the goal and the plan is to put it in the main event. Uh, it'll be my first ever 450 main event, but that's, where, yeah. I, that's where I intend to be. Heck, you heard it here. That's where he intends to be. Travis, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Connecticut. So how far did you have to travel to get here? Or are you kind of traveling the circuit this year? Uh, I've been doing all the East Coast. Um, came from Florida, so okay. 
I've been riding in Florida since the last round at Indy. So yeah, it's still a 20 hour drive or whatever. So that's, that's rough. Did you make the drive or did you fly? No, I drove <gasps> by myself. What? <laughs> yeah, just me. Solo <laughs> so. road trip. Are you a car karaoke person? Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. What? <laughs> What's your go-to karaoke car song? Uh, I mean, if you want to give us a, a little sample, well, you can. <laughs> back home, everybody knows me as I, I like to karaoke to a hollaback girl. What? Yeah. Can we can we get a demo? <laughs> uh, ain't, oh, no ain't no hollaback girl. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so speaking of hollaback, uh, Mr. Daniel Blair apparently has a little beef with you. Yeah, we have we have a big beef. <laughs> oh, he's right there! <laughs> I didn't know he was right there. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a whole thing. I uh, ran across. I was in the back of the pack here, and uh, oh, he's coming over. <laughs> let me explain what happened. I'm in the middle of a race, minding my own business. I come over a catapult. There was a bike laying there. It wasn't blue. It was yellow, but it had that number on it. <laughs> <laughs> because he crashed, and his bike landed on the catapult, and I landed on the bike, smashed my face. That's what happened. Honestly. <laughs> no, honestly. Drops the mic and walks away. <laughs> well, as y'all know, privateers have to have a lot of sponsors to show up every Saturday. Bubba Polly here. You've kind of got a lot of them. Can you rattle them off as fast as you possibly can? Uh, we've got a lot. Uh, TXS Productions, Outlaw Motorsports, St. Louis Tattoo Company, Top Secret Designs, Pirelli Tires, JH2, Route 15 Cycles, Motorcycle Closeouts, Amsoil, uh, JM Racing, uh, Sherby's, Tamer Whole Shot Device, uh, Rural Lube, Amsoil. Okay, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that is all from the Privateer Pits here in Minneapolis. We wish everyone good luck and we'll see y'all tomorrow.